carry on with the dogs while they're a little bit stationary I want to show you something very incredible that is right here now it's moving away a little bit so let's see if I can move with it now let's see if it'll go onto my dashboard because the dogs are going to play but if you have a look there this is what's called a stick insect so this is an insect that looks just like a stick look at how well camouflaged it is do you see that it looks just like a branch so this has obviously fallen in the car unfortunately while we were following the wild dogs now it's fallen down here and I want to try and just get it out of the car so we don't damage it but there we go and excuse my dirty hands it's from my steering wheel it's steering wheels a little bit dirty but there we go look at the insect it looks just like a stick there's its antenna and its front legs and it's looking around now I'm going to keep the stick insect on my hand and I'll talk about it when the dogs stop but the dogs are moving so I want to just try and keep up with them it's all happening at once I don't know what to talk about this is the exciting thing about safari is that you don't know what's around any corner and you can have from small little insects like this all the way to the big wild dogs that are chasing after all kinds of different things so it's all about chaos and surprise this afternoon which is really very cool Ali, these bugs don't bite people. In stick insects are very placid with people. They're just trying to camouflage and hide themselves and stay away and try not to get hurt. And so that's why they rely on camouflage because they don't have any venom or a very serious bite that hurts us. So they can just hide away in plain sight. Now our stick insect actually flew off. They do have wings and they can fly. So it flew off my hand while we started driving, unfortunately. So I can't show you any more. But at least we've caught up with the wild dogs. Now they're all spread out in front of me and they're all kind of just sitting and listening and you see look at how big their ears are the ears remind me of Mickey Mouse and they've got big ears that they can listen to what's going on and hear any antelopes that are moving around them so that's what they're trying to do is they're trying to use these big ears to hear and to try and figure out where animals are that they can then chase after so it's all a bit chaotic with the wild dogs and that's why they run in different directions then they stop and they listen and then they run and they stop and they listen so it's going to be a bit of that this afternoon and eventually hopefully they will come across some sort of antelope that they can then chase and hunt from there.